Welcome back everybody, I'm Brendan Dickinson and today we're talking about the Unity Render Pipelines, specifically which one you should be using. I'm also going to cover quickly the different templates that you can start with when starting a new Unity project. So, you might be wanting to start a Unity project and you see this list of templates. This may not be exactly what it looks like depending on which version of the Unity Hub you're using, but the choices should be similar. These templates are just a starting point, and if you were to start with a completely blank Unity project that had no packages, you could set up any of these templates yourself by installing the same tools in the package manager and changing the different player and quality settings. So it's not the worst thing if you choose the wrong template or decide to change your game later. So which template should you use? Well, are you looking to make a game with high-end graphics for PC or console? If so, I would say use the High Definition Render Pipeline, HDRP. For just about anything else, I would use the Universal Render Pipeline, URP. This means 2D, mobile, maybe a more stylized 3D game. This is going to be the case for most people, but there are cases in which you might want to use a different template. The first thing I want to cover is the difference in renderers. In the past, Unity used a custom built-in renderer that was used for everything. While this helped them streamline new features and tools, it meant that creators were limited to this renderer and weren't able to get the highest graphics or customization for their specific game or project. Unity's answer to this problem? The Scriptable Render Pipeline, SRP. The Scriptable Render Pipeline allows users to customize the rendering engine for Unity. Now that doesn't mean that you or I will be doing this unless you're a graphics engineer, but it does mean that we can have a bit more control over customizing the rendering and graphics for our projects. So what does that have to do with these templates? Well, if you click on the template and read more, you can see what render pipeline each of these is using. All of the templates except for HDRP, URP, and Auto Showroom are going to use the built-in renderer. At this point, there are only a few reasons I see to use any of these other templates. First, if you're just learning Unity and you want a sample project to mess around in, I would definitely recommend one of the learning templates. It's going to be a lot more fun to have a working game that you're tweaking and learning the engine than to just start with nothing. Next, if you want to start with a completely empty project, no packages and no render pipeline, just blank, then you can use the 3D core template to create a completely empty project. Lastly, if you're going to be using assets or libraries that do not work with the scriptable render pipelines, you might want to use one of the core templates. And if you don't know the answer to that right now, just go ahead and use either HDRP or URP. You can always change it in the future. This applies for upgrading a project as well. I'll add a link in the description for upgrading. Plus, there are lots of tutorials out there on how to go between the built-in renderer and the scriptable render pipelines. If you don't fall into one of these categories, I would highly suggest using HDRP or URP. So what's the actual differences between these render pipelines? Let's start with HDRP. HDRP is focused on high-end hardware, such as desktop or consoles. It's meant for high-end graphic fidelity, which also means it's going to be a lot heavier when it comes to performance. HDRP leverages ray tracing, a technique for modeling accurate lighting, and is a big reason why HDRP looks so much better. But it also performs worse. I see this a lot outside of games with automotive showcases, films, architecture, but this isn't needed for a good art style or aesthetic, which is to say you can have a very good looking stylized game and not use HDRP. But if you're looking to get as realistic and detailed as possible, HDRP is a great choice. Some features that aren't really supported in HDRP would include camera stacking, anything 2D or mobile. So if any of that is stuff that you're wanting to use, you're going to want to use URP, not HDRP. URP, on the other hand, is much more lightweight, and it was originally called the Lightweight Render Pipeline, but has since been renamed. It supports all platforms and has a better performance than HDRP. It also has support for 2D, but it's limited in how much you can do with 3D lighting. A couple of things that people were really missing in URP were the deferred rendering and screen space ambient occlusion, but both of those have been added and are available in the latest LTS version of Unity. VR can be done with either of these pipelines, but HDRP does limit the number of platforms you can build for, so normally you'll want to use URP. It's also a good idea to use URP because you're going to be rendering the scene twice, once per eye, and you need that good performance to avoid creating motion sickness. There are roadmaps available for both of the render pipelines if you want to see what's been released and what's currently being worked on. They break it down into each version so you know which one to use. 
Also in the description, I've linked the feature comparison tables for both the URP and HDRP when compared to the built-in renderer, so you can see what is supported in each. I will say that some of the docs take a while to be updated, but the roadmap seem to be up to date, so keep that in mind when looking at these resources. That's about it for this video. I'm going to leave you with some different examples of games and projects that are using these scriptable render pipelines. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and consider subscribing for more content like this in the future. Have fun creating, and I'll see you next time.